is one of the few views along this ride why I wanted to take the highway instead of the interstate. And it is just something else. And now I can't get my jacket set up. So, but this is just one of the reasons why I chose for my inaugural mini road trip to go a roundabout way instead of just taking the interstate like I would in my cage or the parkway I should say, it's not really the interstate it's because I wanted to see this kind of stuff it's like I used to drive this road all the time whenever I drove a delivery vehicle but I was always zipping around I never had time to uh, stop and look and even enjoy the view because everything was on a time constraint. It was like it's, it's a, a fast-paced highway, heavy, or it used to be anyways, whenever I drove it all the time. It was pretty heavy truck, truck traffic. So, uh, the only time I ever really I uh, got to slow down and enjoy it was either on really light delivery days or the first few months I never had an old uh, Isuzu box bed truck with the uh, full glass cabin and uh, that truck just wouldn't go over 55 or 60 uh, so I was forced to go slow and I was actually kind of a hazard, believe it or not, a hazard on this road uh, because my truck could not go. I would have lines and lines uh, up to half a mile long behind me worth of uh, tractor trailers because they couldn't get around me. And because of how slow the truck went, uh, even on the interstate, I mean, I could get it up going down the hill 65, maybe 70, I've had a full load in the back. Uh, loaded down a couple tons of paper but then I wouldn't be able to hardly get up the next hill so now though uh, I can just cruise along and take in the view without having to worry about if a truck's going to run me over because I can get out of the way if I need to uh, and I have the time to stop and just enjoy the view or or just look around and admire the view as I'm riding which is rather nice so but this is my, uh, my inaugural uh, moto vlog road trip sort of I'm just going up the road I mean not even a, I guess about a hundred miles to go see a friend but I'm turning it into what will hopefully be a 200 to 300 mile trip uh, by taking these back roads, or not back roads, but by taking these highways. And this is just this view. It's what I love about riding and being in Kentucky uh, is the views. It's like I always got to a mile in the past. Well, not always, but there for a long time. I got to really enjoy the view and just take it in because had a, uh, a little Miata and it was just a wonderful little roadster put the top down and go out and enjoy the day see what kind of little back roads I could find to go cruising on and then ended up getting a truck and a Corolla and still have the Corolla but not being able to or uh, it just not being the same being in a full cage not being able to put the top down and then also being in a car that doesn't much like to play. I mean, it's no fun to go and find the little. Twi this not this is a twisty road at all. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward uh, major highway, at least for Kentucky. But on all these other little roads that I like to go and ride on now, I mean, there was no point in my car because it, I was just putting along, uh, 
never able to really enjoy the drive. So now this is what I'm getting. Uh, and I've got to say, so far it has been well worth the idea to take the extra time to go this way. Is uh, the drive down to this point, Campbellsville, is an hour, a little over an hour drive ride. Uh, was just as boring as I remember it being. I took some back highways, uh, getting over to the main highway that runs into Campbellsville. But the uh, once I got to that main highway, it was just as boring as I remember it being. Uh, it was uh, some of that was alleviated being on the bike, but it was still just a boring little ride. And uh, the traffic was heavy enough on it to where I couldn't really pull over and get out the camera and do anything. So now, uh, traffic actually seems to be down for some odd reason on here, at least uh, traveling north or traveling east. No, it is north. Um, so I can actually pull over and get my camera out, put it away, that kind of stuff. Uh, not worry about not being able to get back onto the highway very easily. And then of course, uh, I am on a little sport bike, so I don't need much room, uh, not like in my car, to get back out into traffic. I can actually get up and go quicker. Actually, I can get up and go, period, unlike in the Corolla. So, but just some of this stuff is one of the big reasons why I had to have my own motorcycle after riding uh, Papa's little 600 Shadow VLX for about a month and a half, I guess, is about how long I rode it uh, before I decided that I absolutely had to have my own. Got tired of stealing his bike uh, and not being able to, uh, felt guilty about stealing it and riding it all the time because that's what I did and just not being able to uh not feeling right just hopping on it and going and riding whenever he was sitting there and he was home uh because he might want to take it out riding later so uh, let's get around these guys real quick so that lane ends and slow it back down but I just figured I would share this little bit of a uh, little bit of country Kentucky with you. Uh, there will be more once I get up. Uh, there's one spot in particular uh, once I get up near Bardstown. There are actually a couple spots, but on 150 that uh, I'd always admired driving up the hill and seeing it. But. I uh, never could really appreciate it because uh, I was always in a delivery vehicle, always zipping along, trying my best to get stuff done. So, but now, um, actually the plan is going to be to pull over and stop on the side of the road there so I can take some pictures and just sit there for a few minutes and check it out. That was something I always, always, always wanted to do and I was never able to in the past. 